Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Alter and I'm excited here to be here with you uh, to show you and demonstrate a quick and easy way of doing a, a Thimble or Toronto style type of bridge uh, with Trilor. Uh, and in fact there is now a Thimble library that you can import into your 3Shape. But um, similar to this and obviously this is sped up so what you need to do is you need to first and foremost create a, um, a full contour type of, um, you know, so you select a screw retained with a full contour and it is within the library. Um, so, and you, you select the, the, the Pontic as well, which is again, a full contour, a full morphological. Uh, once you import it in, you can go ahead and you can access the scan as we see here, and it'll go right into design. Now the design is the typical manner of which we go. We first go ahead and we align as we've done um, with every case so far, this is the 2019 and in three shape. Uh, once we align, we can go ahead and establish exactly where the spots or, or the placement of that implant uh, sites. And then you can see here in the library, there is a Trilor Thimble library similar to here. And now we have all, all 28 uh, restorations, all 28 thimbles uh, that you can utilize. But this is, it's fully adjustable and it allows you to make your adjustments. Now here what we're seeing is we're looking for the margin line to f coincide with the uh, adjacent teeth. So as you're setting it up, these margin lines need to sign because the, this is about a millimeter of reduction um, which will allow you to then subsequently um, make crowns uh, over this um, bridge, a Toronto style, a thimble style type of uh, implants supported bridge. So you align it just like you would typically as uh, preparations. It is helpful oftentimes in, in larger cases to have a um, like a ghosted like either denture or something to that effect or temporary where you can kind of see where the preparations should align. Um, you can, as you see here on the video, you can um, make adjustments as necessary. Um, but, you know, try to use the thimble for what it is. Make sure that it's parallel so that it doesn't give you any challenges later on with uh, uh, inserting any of the crowns. You validate and do your um, hide the contours or your, your emergence rather of your implants just as you would. Uh, as you see here and connect, uh, I'm thinning out the incisal areas wherever need be. So adjustment wise, it makes it so much easier. Uh, different than other thimble bridges where you can't adjust necessarily the preparation here. We've set it up in such a way that you could adjust. Now, setting up the connectors for the bridge, you want to do everything obviously sub G, uh, assuming you have the space. And you want to create at least a nine millimeter um, squared type of connection. And within the DME that is uh, with the library, uh, you have val validated for the uh, material as well, which as you can see, turns green once you nine millimeters, which is the strength that you need. Um, so we're creating that this way, we're preserving the margin for our crowns. Uh, but everything in between, we can um, adjust all the way down to the tissue. And in fact, the, the greater the mass, the greater the thickness, the stronger the material is, uh, just like with any other material. But uh, this material calls for a nine millimeter squared uh, to design. And you can adjust it. Now, once you finalize, here you can see I, by accident, um, forgot to, um, on the Pontic area, so I, I was able to go back and just reduce it right up to the saddle area. Now you can adjust, um, and with a very, uh, with the wax knife, you can create or bring up your margins in a certain area if need be, as you see here in the video. Uh, I do suggest, as you see here, to, um, you know, smooth out any areas that you want. It's, it's not so much for the design, but certainly for manufacturing and certainly for milling, any kind of irregularities or anything, it just creates a, a spot for the um, you know tooling error or tooling breakage which is something that you don't want so just smooth everything out as much as you can um, you know not affecting any of the preparations or the thimbles but everywhere else just make sure that it's smooth that the the tools don't get um, you know stuck in the process while milling it out um, I just smooth everything making sure that everything is parallel that the thimble is already parallel and has a, a easy draw but nonetheless just make sure if you're manipulating anything uh, just make sure that it affects it. So then you can, uh, of course, access the, um, you know, you can move the, the holes. This is where now I copy and appended uh, the design. And you can see, and I've selected the three unit, uh, three individual crowns. 
in the order form. So what I did was I appended and I copy and appended the CAD design, which gave me a new file. I went in and I cleared the previous and then just selected the three crowns. Uh, I annotated which crown they are. I'm doing the pat the path of insertion, making sure that there isn't any severe undercuts on any of them. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plot my margin around my design. By the way, as we're doing this, you can already, you know, you have the previous um, the previous file that you can export out and, and actually begin to mill in the Trilor uh, while you're doing this and designing. So it's it's two separate files, obviously. Uh, the Trilor uh, bridge or Toronto thimble bridge um, can be milled out of the Trilor material while you're designing your restorations. It could be an Emacs or it could be Zirconia, whatever it is that you prefer to place on top of this type of uh, restoration. And as you can see, it is very easy. Now, with when it comes to margins, keep in mind that, with, with yes, you want to have accurate margins, but also if it's not perfectly dead on where you want it to be, you can always, it's composite. So the composite will fill from underneath. It's, it's different than, you know, what a natural tooth is. It's, it's composite material with fiberglass. So the cement will fill in the areas um, if, if need be. And then after that, you'll see in a second when we're going to, attach it to the margin that we've associated, everything gingerly from the margin down is going to be uh, overlaid with um, um, Gradia or, or some kind of composite annex that is great and there's other composites that you can use on it. Um, what you want to do right now is you want to design the best that you can um, and then create the very lifelike restorations that your doctors have always uh, grown to expect from you. Now we've attached it, I've elongated it. Now. Anything from this area down is the trilore. However, uh, that's all going to be covered by composite, by pink composite that's going to be um, subsequently there after you um, you mill out these three units. Uh, you can do it as a three unit bridge, or you can do it as three individuals. In this case, we did it as three individuals, as you can see. So the workflow is very similar to once once you copy and append the the design, it just becomes a regular you know fixed crown and bridge case. Uh, that you design from there forward. Um, so hope you found this uh, useful and um, it really becomes very easy once you, you follow this workflow and really be, you know allows you the access of doing a, a very lightweight biocompatible and very aesthetic restoration similar to this where you have the three in the bridge and you have the, um, the Toronto Bridge and you have the thimble. Hope you've enjoyed this and you found some great value and please share. Thank you.